Hey, dudes. What's up? Okay, I won't do that. Hey, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Did you guys hear about Russian hackers stealing over a billion passwords? I'll clue you in to the details. Anybody love that x-ray vision you can use in shooter games like Call of Duty? Looks like robots can do that in real life, so <laughs> I'll tell you about that if, if you want. Stick around. This is the Redheaded Geek Show. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start out with robots that can see through walls because it's robots that can see through walls. Yeah. The robots who were created at the University of California are able to look through solid walls using, here it comes, it's not coming, Wi-Fi signals. They can identify position and outline of objects within a scan structure and can categorize their composition as timber, metal, or human flesh. Potential uses? Search and rescue for one, surveillance, detection, and even archaeology. A new study says, although Facebook makes you sad, Instagram makes you annoying, and Twitter makes you unfaithful, how connected you are to the internet means more than you think. It is suggesting that internet access is correlated with happiness. I think it's just a sign of the times. You know, if you don't have all the social media accounts, then you're not with it. But it goes farther than that, doesn't it? It's not only about being online, but it's about being online everywhere and all of the time. It's indicative of many things, such as financial stability, how social you are, and emotional health. I'd be fine without the internet. I would just play with my hands. What about you? Do you feel like a loser if you haven't logged onto Twitter in a while? If you were up in the mountains with no Wi-Fi for a few days, would you shake like a junkie? <laughs> I feel like I want some sort of 2020 music to be playing in the background while I'm telling you this. A Russian crime ring has amassed the largest known collection of stolen internet credentials, including 1.2 billion usernames and password combinations, and 500 million email addresses. You hackers suck. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm tisking. Tisk, tisk. Hackers. We're a dime a dozen. I'm not one. That was a joke. Who found all of this? A Milwaukee firm, Hold Security, who has a history of uncovering significant hacks. Thanks guys, we need more like you, because just last December, the entire country flipped out and had to change their passwords due to 40 million credit card numbers being stolen from Target. To clarify, 40 million credit cards with all the numbers, not just 40 million numbers, that wouldn't be as much. Okay. They think the hacking ring is about a dozen men in their 20s, some writing the programming and some stealing the data. Sounds like a normal business operation, doesn't it? So, that happened. It's anything but surprising. This is such a cat and mouse game these days. How are we supposed to keep any of our information safe? Ever. Onward. NavD is a new heads-up display device that makes your car act like it's wearing some Google Glass. It aims to reduce the dangers of people looking down at their phone all the time, all by displaying the information as if it were floating six feet in front of your eyes. NavD shows smartphone notifications, music, maps, and directions, as well as car information like tire pressure, speed, and more. It relies completely on gesture and voice commands, so you can swipe to answer a call, or you can say, call mom, to call somebody. Especially if you want to call your mom. Users can also fine tune the notifications, so if you don't want a text to display at all when your car is in motion, for example, you can make the safer, smarter choice by turning that off completely. But what do you guys think about heads up display? Is it safe at all? I'll end on something epic. Of course. Check out this new exoskeleton suit. It has superhuman strength. It's designed and created for shipbuilders, and it's like having Iron Man on you. <laughs> this is like being Iron Man. Yeah. Think of lifting 60 pounds and it feeling like a bag of feathers. They are even advancing the machinery to extend that strength to 220 pounds. 
And while the humans wear the suits, the stress of the weight is not handled by the body, but the suit itself. And it's supposed to help the workers handle the machinery accurately and consistently, even when the body would normally begin to tire. It's not ready for prime time yet, but when it is, it could help other industries like construction and emergency rescue services. Thank you, not me, but you for watching. If you like this episode, click the like button and subscribe to our channel, and then you'll know when the next Red Hay Geek Show will be on, even though it's next Friday, it's every Friday, but you'll know for sure because you'll be subscribed and in the loop and cool and stuff. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.